this demonstration we're going to look at the config manager client agent so we're going to have a look at how we can use the configuration manager control panel item so what i've done on my machine here is i've just come into control panel i've gone to system and security and within system and security we're just going to go for the configuration manager agent that then launches up our little config manager properties so the first thing we've got here is we've got the general pane so on the general pane what we can see here is we can see the assigned management point. We can see the client certificate, which is currently self-signed. We can see the connection type is currently intranet. We can see the site code. We can see the unique identifier and also the version. So where this comes in quite useful, if a user, for example, bought in a laptop computer home for the first time and cannot connect to the application catalog through the internet, we might see that the user's only got a self-signed certificate. And ideally what we want here is we want a valid certificate. Also as well, we can see the connection type. So what we want at this point here it's currently set to always internet. We'd want to ensure that we could connect through the internet as well. We can also use this tab to identify that the client is connected to the correct site and any site and is running the correct version of the client. We then have a components tab. And the components tab is useful to determine if the client is receiving the policy. So we can use this tab to verify that components have been installed successfully and the client is receiving policy. So we can also have a look at enabled and disabled status of components indicating that the policy has been downloaded. We can then compare the enabled or disabled status to the client settings that the client should receive from the site. Then what we have is we have the actions tab. Now the majority of all these things run automatically, but we won't you want me to do here is we might have changed the policy so what we want to do here is we want to use it to force through that policy by running now then what we have is we have a site tab and the site tab is useful for telling us which site this config manager client is a member of then what we have is we have our cache tab so the cache tab is quite useful so and this just gives us information if we click on configure settings so what we can do here is we can specify the size of the cache change the location for the cache, and also delete all the files in the cache. Then what we've got here is we've got the configurations tab. So the configurations tab is useful for if we want to check the client machine immediately in comparison to baselines. We also have the network tab. And in the case of the network tab here, if we just click configure settings, what we've got here is we've got information relating to things like internet based management point, proxy server settings as well. And that's the end of this demonstration of just looking at the config manager properties in control panel. Thank you.